Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics, calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. Let's see here. Power of number five. Power of number seven. And power of number seven. Okay, so adding up the numbers brings me to the number 19. 19 in tarot is the sun card. Some of you Scorpios are dealing with a Taurus or Gemini born in the month of May. You could also be dealing with a Cancer or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with a Virgo or a Libra born in the month of September. You could also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Picking up on strong Leo energy through the number 19 as well as strong Aquarius energy through the number 17 and also strong Capricorn energy through the number 15. For my more mature audience, you could have been born in 1951, 1957, or possibly 1959. You could have also been born in 1971, 1975, 1977, or 1979. You could have also been born in 1991, 1995, or possibly 1997 for some of you. So going to the power of number 19 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and nineteen. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective energy, please? What does Scorpio need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. The Six of Swords, something here about moving on or moving forward or getting out of a dark and clouded situation, Scorpio. There's a judgment call going on. I feel like spirit, again, is pushing you out of your comfort zone in order to make some sound decisions. However, with the judgment card on the bottom of the deck, this can also indicate that somebody from your past is going to try to return back and also beg for a second chance. But it could also mean, too, that your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels have got your back at all times. And again, I can't help but not feel that they are pushing you out of your comfort zone in order to go the distance, to see a situation for what it is, and keep on keeping on, keep moving forward, okay? So this can also talk about moving. Some of you guys are thinking about moving out of your environment or moving to a new place. Could very well be true. Um, you know, a lot of you have dreams, right? You have dreams, you have goals. To me, the Six of Swords is a go for it type of card, okay? I just feel like you need to have a more stronger, solid plan of action. I'm also hearing the phrase, this too shall pass, okay? So whatever you feel afflicted with right now, Scorpio, this is gonna, this is gonna dissolve, okay? So either you're moving on to something better or greater in the next six hours. It could be six days or six more weeks. Okay, let's go into the Kipper Dark. Yeah, something about taking a journey or moving or spirit is pushing you out of your comfort zone to move. Okay. Um, I'm also feeling that you're dealing obviously with a specific person. So let me see what's going on with them. Somebody's trying to come back. I feel into your life. Yes. This person, sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. What does this person want to say to Scorpio? I replay your conversations over and over again. You know, there could have been scenarios between the, this you and this person about 
moving forward together, but of course, everybody has a story, right? So this person probably obviously left your life or gave you some lame excuse, whatever the case may be. So they are thinking about you right now, Scorpio. I couldn't let you get close to me. And so that was another reason why that they left the situation. They flat out black and white. They just didn't like being vulnerable. They just, they didn't have what it takes, you know, to step up to the plate. But right now, I feel like spirit is pushing you out of your comfort zone to move forward. Despite the fact of how you may feel about this person. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Some of you guys went no contact, went silent with, you know, family members, etc. This person could have also been dealing with family issues. But I'm sorry, it's no excuse. There are no excuses. When, when somebody is, if you're in a connection with someone and you're not telling your partner or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your wife or your husband what's going on and they just leave you in the dark about things you know that that's not a partnership bottom line it's not a partnership it is not a partnership that has any form of stability because if you can't trust your partner or your partner feels that they can't trust you uh, what's the point what's the point of being together doesn't matter what status you have doesn't matter what the situation is you know, a lot of times we make excuses for other people and we got to stop doing that sometimes. You know what I mean? It's one thing, you know, if, if the situation maybe doesn't bother you as much and if they are going through something, I'm not saying don't be empathetic or show compassion, but we got to be careful sometimes, especially for you guys that are very, you know, super intuitive. You know, because sometimes our empathy can destroy people, <laughs> you know, if we're not careful. But either way, healing family issues. Some of you have chosen to go silent or go rogue or moving on from family dynamics, a family system where you felt like you were the scapegoat or the black sheep. Spirit saying you need to keep moving forward. They may, your family members, if you're on the outs with your family, they may be replaying conversations between the two of you. You know, with, if it was in a text message, Facebook messenger, whatever the case may be. Spirit is showing you twice to move on, to keep moving forward. It's going to be safe for you to love again, Scorpio. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. These friends, these family members, or this potential lover, or the person that you were dating, they couldn't be, they didn't know how to be tried and true with, try, tried and true with you. Because for some of them, they were all about themselves. A lot of these people and these friends and these family members invalidated you. You could feel like you're alone a lot of a good portion of the time, but don't look at your aloneness as loneliness, okay? But you guys are supposed to move or move or go somewhere or something that you feel has been very stagnant is going to now push and project forward, okay? But it's going to be safe for you to love and to be able to open your heart up to another. I mean, you can sure as hell manifest for the person that you've you had your mind and your heart set on for forever, okay? But you need to decide, is it truly worth it to you? Because if you're on a subconscious lockdown with a lot of negative thinking in regards to this person, it may be very difficult for you to receive, for your subconscious mind to receive the goodness from this person. 
because of how they treated you. Because then the bridge of trust was broken. You know what I'm saying? And or it could be this way with certain friends or family members. I do feel you have a lot of haters, Scorpio. I feel like you do have jealous people. They're, you know, they just poof disappear. But you know what? I always say to I always say to my trusted ancestors, you know what? Remove the people out of my life that need to be removed. And help me not to fall prey to certain beliefs about these people. You know what I mean? Or to try to give, if you guys know in certain situations you have given the benefit of the doubt numerous times over and they still keep treating you like shit or they keep ignoring you, rejecting you, you don't need them. You don't need them. Why? Why put yourself on a vicious cycle of having even stronger mental health issue challenges? These people or this lover already already traumatized you. You know, they already they already traumatized you. Don't walk back into the lion's den. You've got to keep moving forward no matter what. But it is going to be safe for you to love again. Sometimes it's easier, you guys, just to wipe the slate clean and manifest for a whole new person. Manifest for a whole new soulmate. Sometimes we get too caught up on the what could have been instead of sometimes even looking at the realism of this person's patterns or their behavior or we think that they're going to change overnight. You know, that's why I said some people just don't have what it takes to go the distance to keep listening to guide and meditations over and over and over again because your your subconscious mind can delay you because you get impatient with the with the gap of the silence or they're not coming forward they're never going to move forward listen you have to be in the zone of your own mind control you have to be the one to control your thoughts about this person and their actions but personally i feel like no you have the green light to move on here if you want to. If you have been tippy-toeing around the fact of family dynamics, whether or not to go no contact, you've got, again, two moving on cards. Six of Swords and the Journey card. These people have gaslit you also too from a distance through their silence. These people are never going to understand your side of the story, Scorpio. They're never going to understand you. They're never going to want to choose, unfortunately, to understand you. That's the legist. If you really feel that you cannot be your true authentic self with these people, to hell with them. Move on. Because you're just going to throw yourself back into the lion's den, the hoping, wishing, praying that this person's going to accept you or these family members are going to accept you for who you are. Like I said, to hell with them. You Move on. It's hard. I get it. But and you know what? With the holidays and... Maybe there are some, you know, maybe you don't have strong plans, you know, for New Year's Eve. Maybe you're crying and upset because this is another new year for some of you that may go by and you don't have that special someone. Listen, call a trusted friend. If you have a pet, spend time with them. Work on a creative project, okay? You guys have so many goals right now that need to get streamlined so you can make 2024 your best year ever. Spirit's giving you the massive green light. Go forward, young lady. Go forward, young man. You see where I'm going with that? You will be able to love again. Falling in love with yourself is very difficult. 
because we have not been programmed. But we need to fall in love with ourselves. We need to fall in love for who we are, you know, the good things. And stop giving these people, these people who have hurt you, to allow them to rent space in your head for free. Keep on keeping on because the only person that can change or shift the situation is you. And by you becoming the best version of you, not trying to change them because they're not going to change. They're not. They will never, ever, 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 ever see your side of the story. Because even so, even if they were to apologize to you, Scorpio, you're going to feel it in the back of your mind that they're going to betray you again. You're going to always be in the what if. Are they going to do this again? Are these family members going to treat me like shit? Are this, these group of people still going to keep ignoring me? Am I always going to be the outcast? Listen, if you have questions like that going on in your mind or with this specific person that you're so in love with, there's the answer right there. Don't walk back into the lion's den. You have to clearly decide, is the time and energy worth it to you to manifest for this person or the family dynamics? It's a lot of energy work, you guys. It's a lot of energy work. It's just so, it, the path of least resistance is to manifest a whole new strangers to come in and be your, your family, your true soul tribe. You have your family of origin, but then you also have your soul tribe. You know? So, you have to move forward. Don't allow this time of year. Because in truth, you guys, the whole New Year's thing, I honestly feel, is... It's only one time frame throughout the whole 365 days where we have a new beginning. Technically speaking, we're still in the third quarter of the Zodiac year. We won't have a new Zodiac year until the season of Aries because Aries rules over the, uh, the first house of the Zodiac. We're in the 10th house of the Zodiac. So technically speaking, it's not even the end of the year, only by current calendar status, by what we celebrate here in the world. I don't know why they do that, to be honest. We had a new beginning with the winter solstice. That was a new year of energy, meaning a new season. You know, the winter. So that lasts for 90 days until, you know, we get into the spring equinox, you know, that's another new year. When we get to the season of Aries, that starts off another zodiac year. Plus, not only that, with full moons, we're in the cycle of the full moon year where the full moon cycles indicate another year around the sun. The new moon cycles indicate a new year around the sun. There are constantly other new years that we can indulge in. It's constantly going. But technically, we're in the third quarter. Uh, no, excuse me, forgive me. I'm going to retract that. I had to think about it. I was thinking Capricorn and then Sag. Forgive me. No, fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter. Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces. Okay. Fourth quarter of the Zodiac year. So you'll have another new year when Aries season kicks in. It's a whole new time frame. Plus you're in your new birthday year around the sun. That's like another new year. Halloween is considered the witch's new year. Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward because you're always going to constantly have a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning, a new beginning. 
Don't allow these people, these friends, these family members to hold you back anymore. It's not worth it. Okay? So, my awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria, will book you for that personal reading. Take care, you guys. Have a magical day. And until next time, take care.